Yeah, we're back. So, so where are you, SV? We are now in um, the town of in Oklahoma, and uh, we are uh, very close to the entrance to the exclusion zone. And we are meeting here now. I will I will step back a little bit and, and flip the camera around uh, mm -hmm. with um, our colleagues, uh, Shizo Sasaki and Karin Taira, uh, who um, will will soon enter into the exclusion zone with our Bigaigi and will be showing us uh, some of the things that are happening there in the exclusion zone, uh, including up to Sunlight Opama, where we have a, a, one of our real-time sensors. Uh, and uh, you know they will enter, they have permission, they'll enter and drive around for a while and, uh, and talk, and then uh, we will meet up with them afterwards. And here is the uh, Bigaigi cast, is now here on the car. So they will be streaming the radiation data from the, from the car as they go through Okuma. Sasaki-san, Taira-san, konnichiwa, ohayou gozaimasu. <laughs> I want to go back to uh, to Osby in the car, and he is going to uh, you know talk about you know the, the zone, and then we'll go into the zone. And Osby, over to you. Hi, thanks. here we are. Yes, uh, thanks, Rich. It's good to hear from you, and uh, thanks, Watanabe-san. Um, so, uh, Sasaki-san, do you hear us? Sasaki-san, are you are you there? Is Sasaki-san linked? Oh yes, I'm now. Okay, on. great. Konnichiwa. Ano, doko doko desu ka? In the interim storage area. Okay, so Sasaki-san uh, and and Karin-san are now in the uh, exclusionary zone, and this is uh, a place called the interim storage area, which is a, a, a massive landfill and processing for all of that uh, decontamination waste, mainly soil. They're making huge landfills. This entire, entire valleys are being filled with the soil, this contaminated soil, and there's uh, processing facilities for it. Uh, places where there were villages and farms and people living is now inaccessible and for at least 30 years will be closed off uh, as landfill for this waste. So Sasaki-san, uh, I'm asking him what kind of route he wants to take today through the exclusion zone. Uh, we are now driving uh, around the, the soil storage places and uh, we are heading to the uh, Sunlight Okuma. It's nursing home for the elderly in Okuma and the safe cast device is uh, placed. placed. Yeah. Yes, that's great. Yeah, I'll explain. Um, yeah, Sunlight Okuma is, uh, it was an elderly home on a hillside. And uh, I guess three years ago, Sasaki-san took us there. And the, we, there was a beautiful view of Fukushima Daiichi, just like less than two kilometers away. And we said, do you think we can put a sensor here? Or what do, who do we have to talk to? And uh, ultimately, we were able to do that. And, and one of our first... Um, uh, it was, it's, it's the um, SolarCast Nano radiation sensors uh, was placed there and has been sending data for, for years. So, uh, yeah, now you'll go up there, right? So, um, Sasaki-san, how often do you come to this uh, exclusion area? Um, not so frequent. Yeah. Is this because of yep. the coronavirus. Yeah, it's hard to get permission to enter, right? And coronavirus has made it even harder. But every day, how many trucks are coming every day bringing the soil, the contaminated okay. soil? Okay, uh, 2,000 trucks. 2,000 trucks yes. every day? Yeah. Every day. Amazing. So 2,000 truck drivers are coming in, uh, bringing the soil. Oh, here's the, the marker for Sunlight Okuma. We're going up the road. Um, 2,000 trucks of soil. And, uh, and yet it's hard for journalists and others to get access now because of new restrictions due to coronavirus. Yeah. So um, Sunlight Okuma, uh, they evacuated very early, right? Because it's so close to uh, Fukushima Daiichi, right? Yes. It's uh, two kilometers from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. So they got some of the first... Um, uh, evacuation orders, right? Maybe within 10 hours? 
Oh, if I get older, yeah, was injured at I think it was at the night of March 11th in two kilometer radius. Yeah. yeah, so they were all put on buses and and cars and were taken. But but these people, everyone survived, right? And many other nursing homes, uh, many people died, correct? Because of the they they were. Uh, had intensive care, but everyone survived from this nursing home. Yes, 90, pe 90 patients were here. Yeah. But, uh, uh, and all, the, all of them survived. Uh, that's great. That's great. So I see you're driving up to the parking lot, not far from uh, where the sensor is, right? Uh, yes. Now we are in the parking lot. Parking. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and, Let's see how it goes when we go up to the, um, yeah, there's the fence line there. It's so rainy, it's hard to see. Do you think we can see Fukushima Daiichi? Uh, it's... Yeah, it's very hot. Maybe you can oh, see okay. several uh, water tanks from here. Okay, okay. Will you get out of the car in the rain? Oh, okay. <laughs> and there's this big platform built for showing people. Here we are coming up to the fence. Uh, here's the fence, and uh, is our sensor there? Ah, yes. Oh, sure. can we take a look at it? Rain's really heavy. Really heavy. Is it possible to see the sensor? Yeah. Oh, okay. There it is. There it is. Solar cast nano, safe cast. Hooray. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ask me. Ask me yes. This is, Ray. is that the same? Is that? That's the same one. Been... Over three years. That's Over three great. years, sending yes. data constantly. Yeah. I am, I am, I must say, I'm truly impressed. I mean, I, I... <laughs> we're impressed, Ray. It's a great design. <laughs> uh, one of the things that happened uh, when they built that platform, there was a sudden step down in the levels from that sensor, and we didn't know why for a while. And what happened to is when they built that, they I guess they decontaminated around that area. So there was, you know, a gradual decline. And then on January 15th of this year, a sudden step down of about 30%. Yeah, yeah. They, they cleaned up to make this viewing platform for, for guests. This environment ministry now will bring tours here to show them the interim storage facility, et cetera. So, um, and we're lucky we got access today. We didn't think we'd be able to get access today. Um, so, yeah, it's amazing. It's an amazing piece of work. There's the device still sending data. Um, we, we would need to go check it to make sure it's not got water in it. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah. So Saki-san, can we can see Fukushima? Can we see the diving platform from there? Can, can we see, see the platform? Ah, uh, it's hard to see. It's, can you recognize but, from uh, several hundreds of blue water tanks over there? Yeah, you can see the tanks. It's hard to see because of the you rain. Can but... see several towers. That's uh, venting towers of yes. the units. Yes, yes, and we can see all that. You can see four reactors from here. Yeah. Number one, number two, number three, and number four from here. Yeah, you can see everything. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful view in a way. And this valley, when we first came, was still, it was abandoned, but it was still farm fields and trees and houses. Yeah, yeah beautiful. Yes, yeah. yeah, still the abandoned farmland and some uh, old houses were there, but now all gone. And yeah. to become the 30 year, another interior storage area. Yeah, so all 30 the years. Top soil will be stored in this area for another 40 years until 2045. Yeah. And it's the an... entire volume of the soil would be around 40 million cubic meters. It's so much. It's yeah, so much. It's right? So much. Unbelievable. And this will be, it'll be a no entry zone for 30, 40 years, right? Mm -hmm. So this area will be shut down for another 30 years. But late yeah. after that, the government uh, plans to uh, give it back to the Fukushima prefecture after 30 years. Right. Mm -hmm. so then, that's why with this area is the 30 year storage area. Right. What do you and Sasaki-san think? Will people ever live here again? Uh, after 30 years, I think yeah. uh, 
pe people can be back, I think. Yeah, yeah. But the, the population will be very small. Yes, I think you're right. I remember, Sasaki-san, you introduced us to someone whose house was down there. He was a part of the city government of Okuma. Uh -huh. And his family was there for 400 years. Ah, and he, yes. And he had to leave. And he gave his house to the environment ministry. Uh, Mr. Suzuki. Yes. Uh, under his family. Uh, the, his family lived here for hundred years, but last year he finally sold his property to the Japanese government. Yeah, it's unbelievable to me. I just can't believe that. And he he didn't seem upset. He said, "Yeah, it, it yes. it's the right thing to do." You know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, unbelievable. Well, um, I think maybe soon we'll start some music. I think. And uh, maybe have some music while you're driving around a little bit. What do you think? Uh -huh. Is that okay? Ah, yes, that's okay. Are yes. you so, so we will continue to drive around here? Okay, that's great. During thank the you. music session. Thank yes. you so much. Th thank, thank you so much, Osby. Uh, we're we're about to cut over, but. Uh...